Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Greedy Craft with ShadeX582. So, I know we had just uh, finished Batania and everything like that, and, you know, as far as, like, this chapter goes anyway. However, you know, I've just been doing a little bit of stuff. Um, nothing too much. I did cre create one of these coins. Going into super max difficulty or whatnot. And I was able to get a Draconic Soul and a Wither Soul. Um, and I did some of these bounties. Just little things while I was waiting for, um, you know, waiting for stuff to process and upload to YouTube and stuff like that. So, not too much. But then I noticed, you know, because I was letting, oh, and I did get some more Chroma still because I was, you know, doing that thing. So, we got 20 Chroma still ingots now. However, what we're at now is we're sort of at a missing guy is still ingot. And if you remember, a guy still ingot requires one million mana. And our mana generation, not so great. Not so great. You know, if you look at it, it's actually nothing. There is no mana generation happening out here now. And that's because I just got frustrated with always having to replace all the flowers and stuff like that that happened out here that would just disappear. So, I just stopped doing it. And, uh... Now our mana is not being generated at all, so we definitely needed to look at upgrading our mana situation. But I, you know, I got an idea for that. The best way I've seen so far uh, with this mod pack, anyway, because we don't have any Wither Acolytes, is to do the was it Kikamari? Is that what it's called? Kikamari, this guy right here. So this guy right here just eats cakes. That's what he does, and he generates mana by eating cakes. And so that's what we're going to work on today is get that set up and also maybe some auto crafting. Uh, we just want to make sure that we get a lot of mana because it's going to cost a lot of mana to get a good amount of chroma still going. Which is needed for progression, obviously. So, let's look at this here. So this requires two white, two orange, two brown, a rune of gluttony, and pixie dust. So most of that stuff shouldn't be bad. Two white, two orange... Let's say you probably have some brown somewhere. Okay, and brown. Now, I will also say this. We should probably do this real quick, too. So, any of these petals, actually, you can you can get from here. And I know you could duplicate these, these petals pretty quickly, but they're extremely cheap. So just do it like this as well. Oh, um, we did get a lot of EMC from... There was some kind of reward from one of the bounties that was like a Klein or something like that. Something from Project E that was like a bunch of EMC, but I didn't ever foresee us using that. So I just was like, okay, we'll throw that in there. So got 62 million EMC. This guy's still pumping away. You know, we still got this guy's. I've added a couple of, you know, Wither Skeleton Ultimate Mob Farms just to sort of help it along a little bit. You know, it's still getting all this stuff. Um... We did get rid of some of the bones. We threw some bones in there, but you know, no, already already back up to thirteen thousand bones, so that's great. But yeah, just little stuff like that. But let's get back to this mana generation issue here. So let's go back home. So I'm thinking a good setup would be nine Kigmaros, right? So it's going to be eighteen. Of each one of these guys. Okay, let's put these up to. And. So that's going to be nine pixie dust and nine rune of gluttony. And we'll put these like right here, like this. And pixie dust can also. But that's just enders. So we can do like. You know, let's see, what was it? Nine, I said, right? I already got one, so we didn't even need this one. But let's throw this in here. And then we'll throw this through here. Okay. And that should be the nine of those we need. And so, Rune of Gluttony. So that's, that's the next step. But that's not too hard. The runes aren't used up during this process. Um, however, did want to upgrade that too. So let's, let's do this as well. Let's make sure 
this is spreading mana the way we want it to, right? Let's go ahead and break this guy down. There we go. Okay. So let's break this guy. We'll put this guy in the middle one here. So it's spread into that dude. So we also wanted to update our mana spreaders. So that was an issue. Um, now we'd like to get Gaia mana spreaders, obviously. Those require Elven mana spreaders first. So we'll do Elven mana spreaders. I don't know if we have any Dreamwood anywhere. I don't think so. Uh, let's try this side. Oop. No. Well, that's it's easy to do too. Let's just get it's just the living wood, right? And I think we can. Yeah, it's got an EMC value, so we'll just go get a stack of this stuff. It's a very low EMC value too, so I don't feel bad about doing this. Bloop. All right. That's what we got that guy for now. That's why we were so excited to get him. So, we'll put the rest of it in the system too. How about boom? Okay. Now, going back into here, we wanted to do elven mana spreaders, elementium ingot. We should probably probably get that too, because I don't think that we have very many of these. So let's just. These are pretty cheap as well, so we'll just get a stack of these too. Yeah. And now we should be able to create... Uh, we'll do three. Because I think... Let's see, two of these can handle that, and then one to the rune altar. Yeah, that should be enough. Now this one, so let's do this. Okay, so we need a guy's shard. And Dragonstone. Uh, and the guy shard. Oh yeah, okay, that's easy. Just need one of these then. And diamond. Boom. Okay. Let's go back up to the home. And we got that thing, yeah, right here. So we could just throw this guy in here. Boop, got eight of those. And we'll just throw this diamond in this one. Oop. Come back, diamond. We'll do it in this one then. And then the dragon stone. Oh, shoot. We need three of these. That's okay. We'll do that real quick. Oh, we got two right here. Boop, boop. There we go. So, that should have us creating... These guys. There we go. And of course we're going to have one right now. Facing that dude. So giving him mana because we're going to need to do this stuff. Where's the runes? Uh, there we go. I believe it was fire and winter. Fire and winter, and we're good with that now. So we need 18 mana diamonds. There we go, we got seven. We need 11 more. There go. Okay, this should be pretty simple now. One, two, boom, boom. Oh, yeah. Get some living wood, or living stone, I mean. And this guy, and this guy, right? So if we go... Actually, it wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter. It's because it's going to get filled up. So here, boom. This guy back down. Okay, here we go. Alright. So that handles the gluttony. 
And again, now we should have eight orange. Oh no, 18. So 18, 18, 18. And we need orange too, right? Am I not mistaken? Yeah, so we do need to go make some more orange. Can be done. Loop. And then go back home. There you go. Okay, so need to break out some water. Here, this this guy will do it. And we need nine seeds. So let's do nine, eight, seven, six, five. How about okay? So and then we got to put some water in there. Go. Yeah. All right. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. Two of these. And then the dragon stone thing, right? No, the pixie dust. There we go. White, yellow, brown. Oh, uh, no yellow. I don't need yellow. I'm a crazy knucklehead, aren't I? Throw this in here. Yeah, that way we can do this. There we go. Okay. Two of these. One of these. Two of these. Two of these. Now that should be right. Oh, and a gluttony rune. That's right. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now we throw a seed in. Alright, now we can throw this stuff. Whew. Maybe we can't. Alright. So, let's uh, empty that. This. And this. We'll put this here. Okay. Actually, it needs to go like... Here. Ooh. There we go. What? Alright, so, I have nine of these guys. Now, these guys say they generate EMC, but I remember this. You go here, and you try to copy this guy. Negative, not going to happen. However, what you can do... Uh, is that we can copy the floating versions. Oh, we don't have a mystic yet, so... Probably this guy, right? Where's a glowstone? Boom, boom. No. Needs to be an actual flower. Can we have a f actual flower in here? So probably have to, uh, but I do think we have one out here. Let's go home. Here, yeah, that's right. That'll work. This will work. Okay, yeah. Um, but I don't think we have the pasture seed. We can go grab that real quick. Um, oh God, that's a weird one.
Go ahead and kill this guy. There we go. Handle that. Throw some of this stuff away. There we go. Okay, so now... Grass. There we go. There's some grass. Okay. That's all we needed. Just that little bit of grass. And I believe we can throw this in here. There we go. And then that... Is this orange one, right? Should be enough for this. And these do copy with EMC. So. That's relatively cheap, too. Okay, so now we have nine floating Kiki Marosis. Okay. Now they eat cake. So we'll get like a stack of cake to start out with. Probably go through that pretty quickly, I would imagine. And I did see there's a way to place this stuff. Oops. Builder. This guy right here. Which doesn't seem too hard. Okay, so we just need this top stuff. So these two things are the same. Two of those. What's up the terminal? Is the terminal like out of power or something? What's going on? Okay, I was about to say. Okay, and one of these. And then it needs the two blocks of redstone. And one of these guys. It's probably going to be the easiest one right here. And that should be it for that one. And these guys do require power. So might as well just do... Did I teach this thing GPS? I did not. That's okay. It's super simple to make a GPS, so... I'm going to need some dye, eh? What is going on? <laughs> I have to wait till it actually has dye. There we go. Got it. Okay. All right. So let's go and you'll see what I'm going to talk about here. So um, for where we're going to have this mana being dropped in, obviously we'll put it in the middle one since that's the one that is... Ooh. Probably want a, another block to be put in since we can't just pick that one back up. Okay, there we go. And we want a mana spreader here. Right. And maybe put one over here. Because I think that it's going to require multiple Gaia spreaders for this. Actually, we'll move this one up too. How about that? Okay, and we'll have both of these guys pointed to that middle one. Okay. Yeah, should be fine. And this guy we'll have right here. And... New square. Okay, you can just barely make those out but okay well that's way too wide of a spot yeah, let's go yeah that's that works okay so now we have to power this guy let's go ahead and we'll shift click there and i think this guy back here has a slot open for his power yeah he's got a couple of slots okay here we go so this guy should be getting power now indeed he is and so he should just place cakes, right? Yes, no, yes, maybe. Oh. Okay, there you go. So he'll continuously place cakes. Cool. And we'll throw up some of these guys now. Let's turn off that preview. It's kind of like weird. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, and then one on top of them. 
Nine. Okay. Now that guy is not going to be able to handle all that yet, so we need to split this up some. So we'll do four of them. Two. Three. Four. So that guy's getting it, and this guy's getting it too. Okay. Now can he handle five? Yeah, it looks like they are handling five. And this guy, of course, can handle four. Then if this guy can handle five, obviously that guy can handle four. But yeah, so it seems to be working fairly well. It's going through a lot of cake. Uh, sh Ooh, man. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Okay. I think I can only hold seven. Yeah, well, I got seven anyway. Let's go back to home. And do like this. So, let's keep it going for a little while anyway. So, for the moment, our mana situation is what it is. Oh, we need a spark for that dude. He doesn't have anything. But here's the other thing, right? So, I don't want to have to, like, sit here. Um and like or have to like add more and more you know mana pools and stuff because as you can see it's like this one's already filled this one is already filled this one is halfway full I don't want to have to like keep coming over here and like filling it so I found I found out that this uh, mana this guy right here mana buffer actually pretty cool because if you put him beside two mana pools He'll start sucking up that mana, and he holds 64 million mana. So that's nice. And to access his mana, all you need is one mana pool. You just put it on top, just like that, and he fills up that mana pool. So, but basically, you know, once this mana pool fills up with one million, then he'll have 64 million underneath him to sort of, like, keep him going. Fills up pretty quickly, it looks like. Looks good, looks good. So, mana situation is looking much better now, much better. Alright, well, let's go ahead and put this here. There we go. Okay. Now I can run over this lab, no worry about stuff. So, now I think. That's about as good as we can expect to get, I think, for the moment. Let's have this guy just keep placing blocks. Keep placing those. And each one of these guys is eating and definitely getting that mana tossed out to each one of these guys. Whew. That guy got up to 4,000 real quick. He's handling it, though. Okay, good. So that being said... Now we should be able to look in here, grab what do we want, like, oh yeah, we need the Remorseful Gem, um, because now we're looking at getting our guys still back up, and there was, I think it was another star, and I've already taught this guy to the system, and, you know, so we're good there, and then... What was it? Gaia Steel Ingot. Oh, yeah. We got nine of those. And then what was the last thing? Or something else, right? Let's see. Gaia. Oops. Dragonstone. Okay, so that's just diamond again. Should be hopefully enough here. Hold on. Okay, Let me throw five of these guys in here. All right, and we're gonna have to turn off our magnet. 
Yeah, it already drained all that out of there, but it's already got, see? And now it's starting to back up another mill in the bottom of that, so it's working the way it's supposed to. Okay, so one, two, three. Uh, uh oh, nope. I'll grab that again. One, two, three, four. There we go. And. Boom. Alright. Yeah, and each one of those creates four, so that's good. Bloop, 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 bloop. Let him go. Go, there we go. Alright. Guys yeah, still got some mana. Yep, alright. That's still open. Yep, we're good, we're good. So we now have 20 more guys deals. Which is great. So now get this stuff started again. And we did put a machine gear box on this guy as well, so it's still got some time shards. And yeah, so we should be able to kick that off. Yep. Uh, I think Primal Metal will be the next thing. I don't remember if we taught this to it or not. I do know I don't want to have to, like, go do this stuff again. What is it? 237, though. It's just, uh... I mean, that's not that bad. But all these... Mm, I don't know. I don't, it'll be tricky. I mean, we did teach it to the system if we decide to go that route with it, but mm, we'll see. Now, the next thing we want to do, so we got our man situation semi-sorted, you could say. I wouldn't say it's really sorted, but it's in a better, definitely a better spot than it was when we <laughs> got here. So, the next thing we want to do is I actually have made a little spot back here because I know it's pretty fight, right? I, I made it pretty. Is it pretty? <laughs> Not really, but you know it is what it is. And we sorted out our cables here a little bit because you can see this one had like four of eight. I wanted to give this as many channels as it needs because this is where our auto crafting is going to be. And I looked up uh, some of the lazy AE auto crafting, which looks kind of, I've never done it before, but it looks kind of interesting. So. We look at lazy AE. Hold on. So it has these mass assembler frames, mass vents, assembler controller, and providers and co-pressors. So usually when you would uh, create an auto crafting situation with applied energistics, you know, you have like a mixture of interfaces with assemblers and uh, crafting, you know, we still, we're still going to need the crafting, I guess, the grids and whatnot, but it made it kind of difficult working with the, um, I guess you could say the channels and stuff that you had to worry about, but I think this one's actually a lot easier. You can create a lot of patterns, uh, a lot of slots for patterns with not that much space. So that's what we're going to do. Um, let's look into it here and see what all we need. So we know we're going to need First off, and this is even for the quest, so we might as well just do this very first. Let's see, Flight Energistics. So, and there's a couple of things we could do here that we could just like pop out real quick too, but we'll do this guy first. So, here we go. And need this. And I don't think I taught the network this stuff yet. I know I did iron, obviously. Let's make sure it's got this. Yeah, I haven't taught this stuff yet. This and this. And these are actually pretty cheap. Let me just get a stack of these. So I, I get tired of like looking at these sometimes because seeing these a lot. <laughs> okay. And I think the other ones are in here. Yeah. So we'll do this too and get a stack of these. Well, these are more expensive. Maybe we don't do a stack of those. Okay, that being said, we were doing this thing, crafting unit, and upgrading it to a 1k crafting unit. 
All right, introduction to auto crafting, cool. So that's a 1K, oh, okay, so we get a 16K. Then we get eight 4Ks. Well, if that's the case, we just make another 16K, right? Make two 16Ks. And I think we can take this 60K out of here, but we could just do this too, so. Yeah. One, two, that'll make a 64K, which I think a 64K is as max as you can sort of grit, get for this crafting stuff. Let's just switch this guy out, huh? Uh, yeah, take this guy out of there. Put this guy in there, 64K, excellent. And we can just do that again. Well, did we not get, well, we could take it back out. I thought we got that. Let's see. Let's grab another one of these. Bloop. Okay. So now we can empty this one out. The 16K. And add a 64K. And another 64K. Now I don't know if we'll ever actually need all of these. I mean, but... I mean, maybe we will. I don't know. But we can just put this guy anywhere along this line i think what i want to do is i want to have them like right here and maybe on the other side too right here now from what i understand that's all we need as far as like the regular ae stuff goes now with these so now we need to start working on Mass assembler frames, assembly vents, and the controller. And we need a provider and a crafting coprocessor. So, um, with this one, the amount of providers gives you the slots for recipes. And the crafting coprocessors gives you the speed. Like, the more of those you have, the faster it is. But, of course, the more energy it takes, too. So, that's something that we got to keep an eye on. But... Throw these guys in here right now. And let's look at what these takes. Let's start with a controller. Okay, so they do take molecular symbols anyway. And interfaces. What's this guy? What is this stuff that it needs? Oh, God. This is looking maybe more complicated than I thought. Okay, so we're on the controller. What is this stuff? Carbonetic flux. It's got a, yeah, it's got a, it's got a ME value. I don't know how much of this stuff we're going to need, though, because we only need one controller, right? Yeah, I think that, I mean, maybe, ah, whatever, get a stack, make a stack, okay. So that's that. Now as far as we gotta get this guy, okay. That should no, let's teach this quartz glass too, because I think I don't think we have too much of that, and we'll just go ahead and get a stack of that too. Cause why not? Okay, so we got this guy. He doesn't have an AE value, so whatever. And we can get this guy, right? Okay, we're going to start teaching this stuff, too. Because I'm tired of, like, always flip-flopping. <laughs> These don't have a lot of cost, either. So, here we go. Just grab a whole stack of those. And the ones that we got to create on the other side. We'll just take this and we'll grab a stack of these as well. Bloop! So, now we don't have to worry about those again. Well, I mean, maybe we'll have to worry about them again. But not, not for the foreseeable future, I hope. Okay, so now we can craft one of those. And then these things, okay. Now, how do you do these looks? Aggregation, I don't think, have we made that yet? We just made the circuit engraver. Because this is going to require lots of these things. Every single one of them requires these things. So we want to have a lot of these. Uh, flux dust, bofurized coal, iron. Do I have flux dust? 
I have 34. Coal. It's charcoal. Pulver is coal. And then iron. Yeah, we have a good amount of iron. But I tell you what we can do just to make sure, make sure this is Yeah. Because we're probably gonna need a lot of these actually. Let's go ahead and get get a stack of that and a stack of this. And then we'll put the remainder in here and that way we'll have like a stack going. Yeah. Oh, we gotta make the actual thing too. Um A Flux Aggregator. Three hoppers. Matter. Do we have the... Okay. We got the stuff for that. Oh, we just made one of these. We can make another one. Haha. <laughs> and do we have everything then? Yes, we do. So this guy needs some power. It's completed automated aggregation. Huh? Okay, cool. Oh, nice. Uh -huh. It gave us another aqua base. It knows I like my aqua bases. Let's throw that in there. Um, so. Yeah, what else was I saying? So this is going to need power. Looks like that is an enhanced energy circuit. I don't have to like switch out the whole thing. So do we have an enhanced energy circuit? Do we have one in here? Yes. Because I don't want to have to switch them out if I don't have to. Oh, we should probably... Ooh, let's not go to the, the deep dark. There we go. Okay. Uh, Yeah, so we could put this here. It's getting power, right? Probably want to upgrade the speed. Where's this thing? Yeah. And I think we've taught this acceleration cards, right? Yeah. Boom. And boom. All right. Yeah, that's nice. Right. Put like eight in there too. Ooh. And that thing's out of silicon. Is that what the, that's what the problem is? Uh, we have 51 silicon here, but you know, it's always nice to have a stack of silicon, since it's so easy. And yeah, I guess we'll let that process there. Okay, so, got plenty of fluid still now. That being said, we needed to create this frame stuff, right? No? Oh, we got a sky stone. Sky stone. Sky stone dust. We just, I think it's just this cooked up. And create stone. I think it'll probably, yeah, it's got an EMC value. So we can just get like a stack pretty easily too. Like an extra stack. Bloop. There you go. And there we go. Put that there. Put that there. Mass assembly controller. Uh, it needs the mass assembly. Oh, of course, we need <laughs> a crafting table. Um, like a stack of crafting tables, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Item provider, simply controller, this guy. Okay, so that's that. And so we need the walls. Simple frame, yep. We need a lot of these anyway. Let's just get that many of them right now. So we should be able to now create. Okay, there's the controller. Excellent. And. If we start with the assembly frames down here, since we can see sort of how we want to build this guy.
Okay. And then probably want, let's see, that's nine of the vents. Okay. I'm out of iron bars? Okay. Did I teach myself iron bars? I did not. But I could make an iron bar. First, let's make more iron. Then, here we go. Make the iron bars and badooey. And we'll just make a stack of iron bars too. Stacks of everything today. So we needed the vent. And I wanted to make like nine of them to start. Okay. So there's that. We'll have the controller. I want the controller to be like on the outside, like right in front. So let's make some more. I mean, probably don't have to make some more, but I actually probably do. I'm being honest here. Because these gotta be. Maybe one more. Yeah, that way it'll be like right here. Does that matter if those touch? I don't think so. Let's hope not. Okay. Alright, so that's going to be the face of that. So each side is going to need nine of those. So we need one, two, three, four. Four. Yeah. 36 of those guys. Which means we need 36 of these guys. Okay. Uh, gonna need more iron bars. Go. You need two stacks, maybe. That was a whole bunch. So, there we go. <laughs> Out of one more. Okay, iron bars again. Boom. Okay. Hopefully that's the last time. Okay. And hopefully I did my math right and didn't just waste a whole bunch of iron bars. <laughs> okay. So, as we said, we needed on each side. So, it would be this side. And then... Do this side too. And this will leave open just for the moment. So it's got. Yeah. I'm going to need to actually move this in, actually. Yeah. Because this has to be the frames here. Wait. No, the frames go right there, so I was right. Yeah, okay. So, now we need to start making the crafting coprocessors and things. So I'm thinking we'll do like a layer of... Now, the, here's a question. So, each one of these uh, crafting guys, what are they called... Each one of these dudes create, I think it was like 36 different places to put a crafting thing. So it's not like we need like a whole bunch of those. We'd rather have more crafting coprocessors, right? So if we do a layer, which is nine, 
of the process. This is probably way more than we're ever going to need, but I thought it'd be cool because I've never done this before. So if we do, what does it take to make the pattern providers? Can we get nine of these? Yep. Okay. And so that's going to be Ooh, nine, that's 36 of those. That was just a 1K thing, right? Yeah. I wonder if I have that. I should be fine with that. I think we're going to run out of these assembler frames again. Yeah. <laughs> and we ran out of the uh what you call it too the cables so get as many as i can oh that's all we got oh we're gonna have to create some more of those flux things hey eh? oh yeah those craft up pretty fast now pretty fast Take those, put these in here. We're looking to create these, create as many as we can. Eight, what are we missing now? What's that in between there? Skystone. Yeah, those are cheap recipes. Put that in there. Here. All right, created 32 of those again. And we're trying to create these guys. Oh yeah, cable. A stack of that too. Uh -uh. Keep running out of different things. Uh, engineering processes. Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a little expensive. Uh, we got 24. <laughs> there we go. So that should be all the pattern providers. And put that in the layer in the middle. Wait, I made nine of those, didn't I? Or did I just make seven? I'm gonna. Yeah, there we go. We got two more. Okay, and then, oh bro, we're gonna have to be able to see. I mean, I guess we could do it like this. It doesn't have to be like sliced up. They can be either way. All right, yeah, and then we could do two more layers of the crafting guys. So that takes care of these, and it takes care of this guy. And I think we've taken care of this guy. So now all we need is these guys right here. Okay. And these guys... What is this thing? I need nine of those. What is that? Ender does, Skystone does, Diamond. Oh, we're doing way more than nine, too. Doing 18 of these guys. We wanted to go fast. Okay. We'll start with nine, though. We'll start with nine. We'll see what happens. Maybe we'll just, like, cover it up with nine in there and see how fast it goes, and, and we'll see. So, that being said, let's put this up. Crafting code processors. We got that now. Let's do nine of these real quick. Nice. Do not think we have enough for that. Okay, we need nine of these. Which obviously means nine of these. Cool. Nine 
nice. Okay, so I need more of these guys now. Okay, so that handles this. Let's see what this looks like here. And now from what I understand, this could also be like, you can leave these... Um, what you got? You can leave these like blank. They don't have to have like a full space in them. So, didn't I have the uh, frames or the vents already made? Did I put them somewhere. Yeah. Well, we have nine vents. Which I think is kind of all we need. We just need the frames now. We got six of them. That's not going to be enough though. I'm uh, missing those guys again. There we go. It is what it is. Let's see if we place these. Maybe we can count out how many we need. So we need one, two, three. We need to go like behind here too. So we're going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Those are like 20. You're done. You're done. Which is actually not that bad because these create for each. So, that may be all we need. Let's see. Actually, we can save one of these guys right here. Because this can't, can't be on the edge, I don't think. Uh, let's go from here. that okay so now let's do the vents right here all right and then hmm needed one more set looks like these guys so if my calculation is correct if you click on that okay multi-block is assembled all right we got nine different pages that we could put that in there so however uh, does that connect it look like it's connecting can't really tell if it's connecting or not <laughs> I want to say no uh, was it dense cable can it connect to any part of this block no I think it has to connect probably to this part huh yeah, that connected. Okay. So I wonder then, hold on. That's from what I understand. Yeah, you can right click on any of this. What if we. Right. Just said, okay, fine. Then you can be. Yeah. And then we got these guys. Oh, we gotta right click on that. Eh. All right. 
and I think it's connected. And we got our 64k crafting storages, which we could probably put two more there. How many? Three channels. We didn't need this this thick <laughs> this thick cable if it's only going to take three channels. But okay, so if that's the case, we could. Let's see. Let's do. Let's do that mystical agriculture stuff, right? Uh, uh mystical. Oh, we got to create blink patterns too. Which, yeah, that's fine. Let's just create a bunch of these real quick. Okay, five, five, five is fine. Five is fine. Okay, and I think we can actually... Yeah, do these. They're not too expensive. We'll, we'll chill for the moment. Let's do this, right? No, was that used for? This one. Oh, we got to have the... Uh, pattern terminal too. No, I, don't, I don't like having the pattern terminal as a replacement for the craft the enemy crafting terminal. Um because the enemy crafting terminal though oh god. And it dropped that too, eh? Yeah, you can make another enemy crafting terminal with this thing. Because Okay, so let's first off make sure this cable goes here. Although I guess it really doesn't matter since it only uses <laughs> like one thing or three things. Yeah, we'll just do it though, just to be safe. So crafting terminal here. Okay, so um, we need a pattern terminal. This guy. Uh, no, this guy. There we go. Pattern terminal right here. And we'll have him on the back here. What? What did I just do? I feel like I just did something stupid. Oh yeah, enemy crafting terminal. Why is it facing that way? <laughs> what? What is going on? Is it because I shift clicked it when I put it on there? If I just regular click? Why is it going that way? Stop being crazy. What about here? Bro. <laughs> Do we have to have like a cable? I don't remember having to have a cable for this before like that. Well, I mean, if it is, it is, you know? Let's see if we put this here. All right, whatever. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go ahead and sort by number of items. And we'll say, what did I just pick up? Okay. Used. And we want to do this one. And boom, right? Yeah. And then we'll do the next one. Used here boom right there used here boom here used there boom and then used for this one then boom okay so that being said if we put that in here all right encoded pattern there we go how fast is this going to work with nine coprocessors if we now request some uh insanium let's do like three calculating please rate crafting plan okay so it does have that right okay let's see we start it that's just not horrible 
would I rather it be faster? Of course, but I think some of that has to do with the fact that we only have one of those, maybe. I don't know. Because it's going to be like two minutes to craft this. If we go here. Yeah, we see it crafting it. I'm in 28 work a tick. Hmm. Maybe that could go faster. I don't know. I mean, it's definitely a lot less time consuming for me doing it. That's for sure. But I mean, I'll call that a success. I like the way it looks. And we do now have access to multi-crafting. And we didn't have to worry a whole bunch about our, uh, our channels and stuff too. Plus, it looks pretty cool right there. I mean, you know, it's nice. I can click on anywhere I want. Uh, see what it's doing. And I should be able to as well from here. Yeah, see what it's doing there and can cancel it if I want, but I'll let that run out. Yeah, always good to have some insanium. That being said, how many of these have we created since this? Okay, cool. And this up here, have you created any more? You have. Good job, little dude. Now you're missing input item again. Which one are you missing now? Ah, that, that we thought we would be missing. Okay. Well, you know, uh, what is it? Yeah, this thing. Let's just do like a mill. Yeah. Okay. We'll let that. We'll let that go. That's why we got that EMC for as part of it, because this is gonna help us progress, as well, because we still need a whole bunch more chroma still. I think for the other forge. Oops. I keep forgetting that. How many of these do we need? This is a cosmic forge, yeah. Cosmic forge requires... Oh, it's just three chromostyle blocks? It's just 27. Eight blocks of titanium. Yeah, well, I think we actually have that, don't we? Let's see. That's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. Shoot, man. Boom. Got some left over right there. Look at that. So we got the chroma still blocks for that now. That guy. He's going to go up here. He's going to go up here with this dude. Alright. But hey guys. I think that we've uh, accomplished a good bit. We didn't really get much as far as quest lines. A couple of, you know, applied energistics quests. But we did start the foundation for, you know, crafting and the mana is being, you know, done. In fact, you know what? Let's just go look at that before we end the episode. Let's go look at how much mana this thing has generated. It's out of cake. <laughs> it's totally out of cake. Uh... 1,343,000. Eh, and it's got a million there, a couple little, okay. Let's go get some more cake. Let it go crafting again. But hey, at least these guys didn't disappear this time. That's what I could say. <laughs> Let me put this stuff up too. All right, but yeah, guys, we did get the multi-crafting going. We got the uh, mana being crafted in the background while we're doing all this other stuff that we're doing. So I hope that you guys liked the episode. Go ahead and give me a like, comment, subscribe if you want to motivate me to do these more. And as always, have a great day.